in a couple one has b blood group and another has o blood group what will be the possibility of blood group in their children so when a person has b blood group he or she may be homozygous for that b that means ib ib or maybe heterozygous so when he is homozygous and then crossed with person that has blood group o so o is always a recessive homozygous recessive so o will always be i not i not in that case you can see that all the children will be with o blood group but when this person with b blood group is heterozygous then what will happen here you can see that if it is heterozygous means it has one allele for b blood group and another for o and the person who has o blood group have all two allele for o blood group here in that case you can see that in this situation and this one allele is for b blood group another is for o so here this o is recessive it will express itself blood group will be b here in that case also blood group will be b but in this and this case both allele of o are present so blood group will be o so here in that case when a person is heterozygous for b blood group 50% of their children will be with b blood group and 50 will be o so overall we can see that when one parent is with B blood group, another is O blood group, then in their children, blood group may be B and O.